Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Vernon Presley, Elvis Presley's father. Mr. Presley has a friend coming out. Hello. First of all, I plead innocent of all charges. Okay. Thank you, dear. Love you too. Thank you. Over the years, everyone said that you were very shy. What do you think about that? Oh, I don't know what makes them think that. I, you know, this gold belt and the, <laughs> uh, the belt is an award from the International for the uh, Attendance Record. Why have you waited so long to appear in New York? I think, I think it was a matter of not getting the building, the proper building. We had to wait our turn in order to get the building. Couldn't get a good building in 15 years. No, all kidding aside, we had to wait our turn to get in, into the garden, you know. I just, I just hope we put on a good show. Oh, I like it, you know. I, I enjoy it. Why do you think you've outlasted every other entertainer? I take vitamin E. Uh, <laughs> I was only kidding. I don't know. I just... I embarrass myself, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I enjoy the business. I like what I'm doing. I'm reminded of the Ed Sullivan show. So am I. That's why I'm sitting down. <laughs> you used to be fond of long hair and doing all those gyrations on stage. How do you feel about it now? Man, I was tame compared to what they do now. Are you kidding? <laughs> I didn't do anything. We just jiggle, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I, I, I can't. I, I can't do that. I, I just should not save it for the show. How do you feel about the way performers act and behave on stage now? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I, I really can't criticize anybody. I, you know, in the entertainment field, I, I think there's room for everybody. And I, I, I hate to criticize another performer. Are you satisfied with the image that you've established? Well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another. It's, it's very hard to live up to an image. I'll put it that way. Yeah. What kind of audiences do you find you attract now? Well, I found that uh, in the audiences that we have, it's, it's mixed. It's, it's older people, younger people, and, and the very young, and uh, all types of people, you know, which is good. I just made a movie of, of, of the last tour that I did. It's the first live concert that we ever found, so that's my next project that's coming out. And there's so many places that I haven't been yet. I, I've, I've never played New York here. I've never been to Britain either. I, I'd like it to, yes, sir. I'd like to go much. I'd like to go to Europe. I'd like to go to Japan and all those places. I, I've never been out of this country except in the service. You know. Yeah, I'd love, love to go there. Yeah. Elvis, what made you decide to finish with movies and continue with live appearances? I, I just missed it. I, I, I missed the, uh, the, uh, the closeness of, a, of an audience, of a live audience. So just as soon as I got out of the movie contracts, I... Uh, I started to do live performances again. Will you be doing more and more? Uh, I, th I think so. What are your views on compulsory national service? I just seem to keep my own personal views about that to myself. I'm, I'm, I'm just an entertainer and I, I'd rather really not say. Why did MGM film the concert earlier in Boston, Elvis on tour, when they could have filmed it here? I don't know, that's a good question. Why is that, Colonel? <laughs> Why could they film the concert in Boston? They could film it here. What about politics? I'm not involved in that at all. I'm just an entertainer. Why don't you film or write a biography about yourself? I just don't feel that, that it's, it's time yet. You know, maybe I will someday, but, but not right now. I, I'd like to do something in the way of a movie script if I can find the right kind of a property. In fact, we're looking for it now. You're talking about a non-singing type thing. Yeah, I like to do that. It's hard to find good material nowadays, you know, for everybody. It's very difficult to find any good hard rock songs. If I could find them, I, I would do them. I, I think that there's so many companies, you know, everybody becomes independent. Once they have one hit record, they form their own company. And then there's so many. And also the people who write them are starting to record their own songs. And that's why I say it's very difficult to get you know, good material. Because I'm in a publishing firm, but I'll take songs from anywhere, you know, or from anybody if they're good. It doesn't have to be in my company. It could be just 
completely an unknown person and just anybody that writes a song, if they can get it to me, if it's good, I'll, I'll do it. Elvis, what are your feelings about your success in the 50s? Uh, all kidding aside, it happened very fast to all of us, my mother and my father and all of us. It, you know, everything happened overnight, and so we had to adjust to a lot of things very quickly. You know. uh, I don't really miss it much about it. I, I, I enjoy it just as much now, if not more, than I did then. You know, I, I would like to think that we've, we've improved ourselves over the past 15 years. Do you get fed up with people recognizing you and asking for autographs? Uh, no, I, I got used to it. I would kind of miss it if it didn't happen, you know. If, if, nobody, if nobody saw me or if nobody uh, recognized me or whatever, or an astronaut autograph, I, to, to me it's just part of the business and I, you know, I accept it. I think I would miss it. Will there be a recording of this concert? It's possible, yeah, it's possible. I don't know. They have RCA Victor's officials here, so I don't know. Which of all your recordings is your favorite one? It's Now or Never. Oh uh, Solomio. Oh Solomio was the largest selling. And the next one, too, was Don't Be Cruel, I think, in the Hardbar. Yeah. Hardbar Motel, whatever. I went to Hawaii to get a tan for, for New York. <laughs> I came in last night very late. I had to go to bed because we we're having a rehearsal now and then I go back to rehearsal after this press conference. Yep. Unless you've got something better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Is your wife Priscilla with you? Uh, no, she's not. Well, I talk to my father? I have to. <laughs> he handles all my personal affairs. Well, sir, at what point did you realize your son was more than just an ordinary son? Well, it's, it's kind of hard to say, you know. It, uh, it happened so fast, it's hard to keep up with it, you know. It just, boom, overnight, and there it was. So I'd say maybe, probably 1956, the first television show. I tried to tell him sooner, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> no, I have no regrets of it. In fact, I have enjoyed it, really. Elvis, which kinds of songs do you enjoy doing the best? No, I, it's, it's, a, it's a conscious thing that, you know, I, I, I like to mix them up. In other words, I like to do a song like Bridge Over Troubled Water or uh, American Trilogy or something. Then, then, then mix it up and, and, and do some rock and roll, some of the hard rock stuff. I, I'm not the least bit ashamed of, of Hound Dog or Heartbreak Hotel or whatever those things were. You know. Elvis, <laughs> can you see yourself retiring at all? Not, not really. <laughs> no, I, I've, got, I've got too much energy. I, I don't think so. Not as long as I can. I like to live up to my reputation of being a nice guy. This is it, folks. <laughs> I've got to go back to rehearsal, folks. Thank you very much. <laughs>